To see my mother being honored at, at this stage 50 years after she died, it also shows what a mark she made on people's lives. In the Builders category of this year's Hall of Fame, Field Hockey Canada is proud to induct Margaret McLean, a pioneer whose legacy is now cemented. It just means everything to me that, that she has been now recognized as one of the pioneers and, and is in the Hall of Fame. Her legacy isn't the being honored. Her legacy are all the young women that she coached and that she was a role model for. And really, I'm one of those because, of course, you know, she is my hero. Among many accomplishments, McLean was the first president of the Canadian Women's Field Hockey Association and among the first international delegates to put Canada on the map. I'm really proud to be a leader within Field Hockey Canada, knowing that I'm standing on the shoulders of, of all these giants and, and first was Margaret McLean. McLean grew up in East Vancouver and deeply cared about sports during her adolescence. She went to Britannia High School and certainly there wasn't any money around. She made her all her own tennis clothes and, you know, probably field hockey clothes too. She sewed them and field hockey, grass hockey became a sport that she could take up and play every week. McLean felt at home playing grass hockey at that time. She played for the Greater Vancouver Women's Grass Hockey Association and won five BC Division Championships. She was also the first recipient of the Watson Trophy in 1949, a distinction given to local athletes who show incredible athletic prowess and sportsmanship. During that time, there wasn't a national body for women's field hockey as all the national teams were based out of BC. McLean was part of both of those international touring teams, including the 1956 squad that played in Australia and the 1959 team that played in Holland. I can only imagine it must have been just a huge thrill for this group of women to go off to Australia and represent Canada. My mother would have been incredibly proud. She was also the team's finance chair and raised today's equivalent of $165,000 for those teams to travel, but she wasn't done there. And there were some visionaries, pioneer women, who felt that it wasn't right to just have Canada be represented by Vancouver. And they wanted, they wanted to have field hockey across Canada. That was a dream. That was Margaret's dream. McLean envisioned establishing a national body which included all provinces in national team selection. That vision came true in 1962, and McLean was named president of the newly formed Canadian Women's Field Hockey Association shortly after. And she was the perfect person to do that because she, she had organized and been the president and the secretary and the treasurer and every for Vancouver and part of being association let us then say okay the Canadian Women's Field Hockey Association is going to send wants to send a team to the 1963 tournament and I have to say there was one proud president who was the delegate at that 1963 tournament, and that was Margaret McLean. As president and international delegate, she assembled the first CWFHA team to play at the 1963 IWFHA World Tournament in Baltimore. There was no template. There, there, was, there were no role models and no templates to follow. And stepping in to start an organization for the future of our sport. The, the importance of that cannot be underestimated. Her dedication was astonishing, especially given the societal expectations she still faced as a woman at that time. Well, again, you have to realize this was the norm for me, that there were hockey sticks everywhere and shin pads. But at the same time, a woman was still expected, and my mother did have dinner on the table at 5.15 when my father got home. There was no difference in that. She also helped organize the first national tournament that made up of two teams from both the East and West Coasts. In the following years, McLean simultaneously served as the treasurer and secretary while being an acclaimed coach and national umpire. 
McLean passed away in 1975, but leaders who came after her speak in awe of the incredible heights she helped Canadian women's field hockey reach. Her whole life was field hockey, and she was raising two children, and she coached, and she umpired, and selected, but mostly she administered. I'm really pleased that Field Hockey Canada is able to acknowledge that all these years later and having seen the pipeline that of leadership and female leadership that she she set that foundational cornerstone for. Well I think she should be remembered exactly as she was which was she was a great athlete but more than that, she was a mentor, a mentor to young women, a mentor to others in sports. Um, just a caring, loving person who gave all she could.